get a little bit of a boo-boo. I know you're thinking too, and you're probably already putting it in the comments, we should have done this before the spray foam goes in. Because if something's not working, I can't fix it unless it's directly on the terminal ends. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on it for a little bit. Hey guys, and welcome back. We are gonna do something completely different today. Um, do not try this at home. I'm sure there are much better ways, but this is what Eric suggested to do. Hopefully I don't die in this one. <laughs> I don't have my tripod back in here yet. Let me show you what we have going on here. So we have our neutral going into the neutral port over here. We have our ground, which was the one that was a pain in the butt, tucked in there. And then we have our hot right here going into this right terminal who is off. They're both off right now. I'm just gonna test one breaker at a time independently. And don't worry, this isn't plugged in right now. So this lovely little contraption is something Eric rigged up long, long, long ago. Oh, looky here. Ha. Huh. I bet you already know what I'm going to do with this. Oh, before we plug it in, uh, we're going to go through all of our light terminals and pull all the wires out. Because the last thing you want is the positive and negative crossing. And even though... Even though there's nothing connected in here, I mean, it wouldn't be very hard for them to just kind of catch each other and just not even know it. The only reason we're doing this is because it is gonna be connected off-grid. I don't have my off-grid power yet. I don't even have a generator yet. We're working on it. In the meantime, I can put temporary power in just enough to test all my lines. See, we had a little bit of a boo-boo. We should have done this before the electrical inspection. Yes. Yes, we should have. Or even better, definitely before the spray foam goes in. Because if something's not working, I can't fix it unless it's directly on the terminal ends. Didn't think about that. So I, I do have my multimeter. So this is going to connect actually into the plug with the sugar shock where the, the blue cord is right now. It's gonna plug in over there. Well, happy doggy. Why you come to Now's the time to put your comments down below <laughs> as to what's gonna happen next. Okay, so the circuit breaker's off. Whew, I gotta flip it on. I don't know which breaker is connected to which at the moment. Whew. I am like, I know. Now, everyone is going to be commenting on the risk of getting electrocuted by touching the breaker power here. This is plugged into a 15 amp receptacle on the sugar shack. Now, just to give you an idea of how much power this produces, I looked it up and it said 1,800 watts of power. To put it into perspective, our horse fence, if you were to touch that, puts out over 7,000 watts of power. I've test I actually just tested it this fall. Over 7,000, it's off the charts. I don't know how many times I've touched that. So me being upset and worried about getting electrocuted by this, while it is a possibility, I definitely have been electrocuted a lot worse. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know if these breakers work. The breakers could be broken. I think the way that you can test that is to take the wiring off, obviously, and then run your multimeter from the hot to the neutral and it should have 
numbers pop up or something. Okay. I wish I had two cameras. I am like really feeling like headed right now. You ready? I don't know what that means. Does that mean my breaker's blown? See how you can kind of see a little bit of orange on that? I don't remember which one where, so we're gonna try this one first. What is that on your face? What did you got? You can't eat that. Yucky. Are you cutie? Do you like it better spray foamed in here? Do you want me to shut the door? Is it cold? She just wants me to leave. All you want to do is play all the time. What are you, a puppy? No, yeah, you're too big to be a puppy. You're not even a year old yet. Look how big you are. Anyway, so this was sent to me like a year ago, two years ago, I forget which. A whole bunch of electrical stuff was sent to me for working on my horse trailer. And believe it or not, I've shot like, I don't know, no less than a dozen videos on working on the horse trailer. But I work like two days, I'm gonna have to get pulled off to something else. So you guys haven't actually seen the last couple of videos on the horse trailer, because I never posted them. But I have been using this a lot. It's pretty cool. And I'm not that talented with it yet. So, like I said, we will see if we can get this figured out. Um, uh, let's see, we want amps, I think. All right, so I did look up a tutorial online and they actually did say to take the red and the black and poke them into the slots and set your multimeter to 200 and it should tell you the uh, and volts, volts, it should say 110 volts. Do it just like this, yes, nothing, which doesn't surprise me. So now we're gonna check the other one. And nothing. I think it's possible both circuit breakers are bad. It's very likely. I mean, that sucker's been through the ringer. The cord, I don't know. The cord might not be working. The daddy might not have wired it very good in the plug end. It's, I know it's possible. I did not see it, so I don't know. If we test the circuit breaker, that'll let us know if we're actually getting power to this line or not. Um, I'm gonna look that up real quick and get back with you. Again, electrical stuff is kind of dicey to find online because most people don't want to put stuff online and then have someone come back, mess it up, and then like say, oh my gosh, you killed me. Here's what I was able to find. So we have our digital multimeter here. Um, the breaker, I believe, is in the on position. We have our black neutral and our red hot. So black goes on the box, and then the red comes up here and touches the screw part up here. So nothing I've been able to touch up here is showing any reading at all. All right, so I unplugged the cord. Um, I did test this on the outlet and it was reading 120, 118 volts. So it's definitely working. Then what I got to thinking after I unplugged everything out of here is to test this on here. We're gonna put one down here, one up there. Nothing, it's on ohms. Work. And ohms measures resistance, I think. So we're gonna do red there. And here, we turn it off. Draw my camera. And then we do it again, we get nothing. So, um, the other option, again, like I said, is to connect it to power and see if it will register any voltage. Actually, we're gonna move it over here. So that when I come in, I doesn't get kicked. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in. Okay. Red is hot, black is not in the case of the multimeter. So I'm gonna swap. Hot is gonna black. Because on this, black should be hot. I think we go to those two. Okay, so this is testing on 119.2. This is testing exactly the same as the outlet. So this 
is getting juice. The circuit breaker ain't getting any juice in there. So you gotta figure out what the deal is. What if the whole breaker box is bad? Do breaker boxes go bad? And I just stuck that whole thing up in there. It should just bought a new one. I don't know. Put your comments down below what you think the problem is. Or if you know what the problem is, you're already 10 steps ahead of me. All right, real quick. I finally managed to rip the breakers out. Ah, uh, they're both right there. They are tough little boogers to get out. And when you Google how to remove a circuit breaker from the panel box, you get all these detailed instructions about turning the power off, blah, blah, blah. But nothing really about how to just yank the sucker out. So um, those of you who are wondering, you on this version, you tip it back and it'll just kind of sit there and hang out. And then you have to yank it really hard <laughs> towards yourself. And then it will come out after you tip it back. So you can see we've got um, some spider web stuff going on here. Um, yeah, some spray foam that came in down here that needs to be cleared out. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like the mud wasps got in there too. And I'm not sure if this little bit of corrosion is gonna play a factor on it or not. All right, so we're gonna go here and here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there it is, there it is. That's what we're looking for right there. And nothing, yep, nothing. So in theory, if you touch this end and this end like that, it should be screaming again if there's a connection in there. There should be power, just like, I mean, this is pretty much a glorified light switch. On, off, on, off, right? So that means that uh, the switch puts a break right here in the connection. So this side and this side should both be receiving power if this is in the on position. Actually, actually, let's turn our light switch on and see, just for giggles, if we get that. Oh, look at that. Genius. So, what do we know? Watch this, watch this. Okay. Boop. Working light switch. My genius or what? All right, we'll do it again. Oh, ho, ho. it's called continuity. That, that's probably the only electrical term I can think of. Continuity is the flow of electricity. There ain't nothing flowing in this, ain't nothing flowing in that. This is working great. And this is gonna work great too because I did an awesome job wiring. Yeah, so everything's gonna be switched off. So, and actually I should be able to stick it in this and have the same effect. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I go like this and this. Maybe that's... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. So, what have we figured out? We figured out we have two very bad circuit breakers. We figured out the circuit breaker panel is pretty messy. needs to be cleaned out. So, all things said, trip to the hardware store 15 bucks later. This should be up and rolling. Man, when you guys send me stuff, and I didn't even think I needed this, but look how much I've been using this. This is just, just love it. Just awesome. So awesome. And obviously my tools that have been sent to me too. I've got stuff everywhere in my gloves. Like, yeah. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you for all of your comments down below. Because I know, again, it's just exciting times. And I know, I know, I know. Live and learn, I should have done this at the beginning. But, at least we're getting somewhere, right? Whew. All right, so I headed out this morning and I bought some new circuit breakers. There's a lot of different kinds of circuit breakers out there, so always be sure to bring your old circuit breakers with you so you can match them to your new breakers. Uh, hopefully this will solve our issue.
I think I should have paid better attention to how this was in there because I don't know how to put it back. <laughs> ah, um, I know it goes like this. Oh, good gravy. So, all right. Everything looks clean and tidy, but we're gonna stick his butt end in first. Okay. Oh, good. And then, uh, uh, okay. Wrong end, right here. Get down there. All right, and ha. I think that's correct. <laughs> I think that's right. Right? All right. Um, next one, right here. When you buy them, this is how they come. Okay, they come with the orange already on. And I think the reason is, just to let you know that that's what it looks like when it's been flipped. And this one is not because I was playing with it. Yeah, that's why. So, um, always inspect your contacts just to make sure there's nothing weird on there. Oh, this one's gonna be harder because he's, uh, he's on the, the tight end. Oh, and, oh no, he's not going on. <laughs> get on there. Come on, friend, get up there. <clears throat> okay, hey, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Now watch this. Oh, that looks so much better. And uh, this one's obviously tighter than this one for whatever reason. So guess what's next? No, I'm not gonna connect it to power. I'm actually gonna connect the multimeter on it first. Okay, friend. Ohms, continuity. So it doesn't really matter which end goes where because there's no, there's no power going through this. So right now it's in the off position. So you stick one connection there and one connection up here and uh, nothing. So we're gonna turn this on and then connect it. There we go. That means it's working. The same thing with this one. Start with it off. Connect everything up. Nothing. Turn it on. Connect it up. There we go. Okay, we're gonna start with them off again. Whew. All right, so let's hook up some power to this bad boy. Hopefully we got this fixed, so let's give it a test. I've only got five minutes left on my battery too. All right, red hot, black ground. So, um, I should be reading nothing at the moment because the circuits are off, which it does. Okay, make sure that's in there. All right, we got live power and there we go. <sighs> okay, 120, that's what we need. All right, and also if you're using one of these, make sure to play the buttons a little bit because they might be triggered. And you can see here we have 123. So it's actually getting a little bit of power surges, 121. Let's see, I'm actually gonna test the lights real quick too. I don't know which switch goes where. Yes, all right, so we're gonna throw this switch on. Boom! <laughs> Shit explodes. So which one's it gonna be? I don't know. So this is not the line. I don't know if I can aim the camera up this high. It goes like that. Oh, it's this one right here. This one I know goes to the outside. I'll show you at the same time. Red is hot, black goes on white. Don't ask me why, I didn't make up these rules. So, Try not to shock myself here. Um, conversely, you could connect these to some kitchen tongs and it might be a little easier. We have an issue. So, breaker two is not working. I did turn it off the first time, duh. I didn't have it plugged in. And uh, yeah, so this one threw me a little bit because I couldn't figure out what was going on. I tested that one, I tested that one, I tested the light, I tested that one down there. Now when I did it on the other line, the first one I tested was that one. 
That's the GFCI circuit. And ha, huh, lo and behold, if that is blown, your entire line is off. That's why you have it at the start of the line to protect everything else. That's a good thing. But if you're not thinking about that, you're gonna be racking your brain what's going on. So none of my circuits on line two, on line two, were working. But where's my GFCI? Oh, gee, he's way up there. All right, so we pulled this out. I didn't see any like major insulation back there, but I cannot get these buttons to trip. Like this one just is not working. So sadly, I think this is a defective unit. Okay, there we go, 120. So definitively, this is getting power. My wiring is good, at least up to this point. The breaker GFCI unit is bad. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the wiring off this. First, I'm gonna turn off my breaker, just so you know. That's right. There, breaker off. Okay, so all of this should be fine. In case you're wondering, you should always test just to make sure. Black, red, see, I'm not getting any power. So it means it's off. So it means you can touch that and you're not gonna die. Wow, that is, that's just really shocking. So after pulling everything apart, replacing that, testing it, testing it, and then testing this, I realized that this wasn't getting power anymore. It was getting zero. So I got to thinking that I should check the circuit breaker because I had the breaker pop the other day. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on it for a little bit. Shoot. Gonna think on this. I'll be back to you. Okay, hey, so <laughs> we're on day, I don't know what day it is anymore on testing the wiring. I've been going back and forth chasing the runs on this. And like I said, having a multimeter is gonna be your best friend. so dumb and this is why you should do your GFCI's last when you're hooking stuff up so you don't make this mistake I don't really want to admit what my mistake was it's very embarrassing and <sighs> okay um one side is black and one side is White. I don't know how that just pff, slipped my brain. Just, oh, I'm just gonna go dig a hole for myself now. All right, I went through and reattached everything. I figured out exactly what I did wrong. I'm not surprised and I'll explain why in a little bit. But let's just say, the location up here is hard to access and it's freezing cold. So all the air on the porch just blows right up and into this area before the spray foam. Now the other GFCI unit, guess where that was located? Right next to the heater. So you can put two and two together as to what happened. Anyway. Get it all connected. I flipped the circuit breaker on the house. So now I'm gonna flip the circuit breaker here. I'm not sure why this circuit breaker is not tripping. That is very concerning to me. But we have the GFCI, so it is doing its job. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna check again. You're getting power. I'm gonna check the bottom one. You're getting power to that too. Now we're gonna check these guys. So when I was thinking, really, I really don't. Three times I've hooked this up up here and I still got it wrong. And I even read, yeah, I read the back. I read 
the back three different times. I read the back and I looked at it. I said, oh, okay, yeah. But what I didn't do was look at the back and then look at how my wires were displayed ready to receive it. If I had done that, then I would be like, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, so black on white. Okay, so we have 120 there. I'm gonna come down here. Hmm. We have nothing. So we're gonna hit this. <gasps> Why? I don't know. This is supposed to be cracked. I checked everything. I am ready to cry. I just connected my other one too. I thought I was done. Okay, this is the circuit breaker that was on the line that was working. I should, should have it wired up correctly. Honestly, I'm scared that it's still not gonna work. I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. <sighs> I've tested it so many times. I tested the breaker panel box, everything's good in there, and now I just have to test this. <sighs> okay. All right, here we go. Top one. Working. Bottom one. Do you see that? Check it out. Check it out. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, um, it's possible that when I wired it incorrectly, it might have fried the inside. Problem solved. Now, now I can go through and test all the rest of my outlets. Let's go. Woohoo! Okay, good. No, not good. There it is. Ooh, okay. So that's good. All the wiring is working. It's all good. I know I should have done that to begin with. And uh, I know you guys are wondering why the inspector didn't catch that, but again, he would have had to like really climb on a ladder to look at it. And this was the rough in. From what I understand, the rough in, you're not even supposed to have the terminals connected. At least that's what somebody else told me. So I don't know. Anyway, everything's good. So thanks so much for watching guys and if you are not already subscribed hit that subscribe button it really helps me out and hit that hit the like button it really helps my channel out a lot i really appreciate it thank you so much guys and look forward to seeing you on the next one love you guys bye